<laughs> you do look good. Thank, uh, you. thank you so much for having me. Uh, congratulations on season two. It's amazing. Yay! Thank you. So <laughs> yeah, it is amazing. So um, I'm going to start with uh, saying uh, episode one. I was so blown away. Everything was so amazing, well articulated, the scenes and everything, the script. And um, I was really taken by the last scene where everyone was really emotional and all that. Did you guys really have a moment there uh, as the actors? And how was you as a writer when you were writing that moment? Because I was really blown away. I wanted to go on episode two already. So how was that? Is it yeah. Yeah, you, can start. you can you can start. <laughs> when you, yes, yeah. Yeah, no. Okay. Well, from, from anti crisis perspective, yeah. I think that to me has set us up again into that situation yeah. again. Now we are compromised as the settlers because the toilets they really undermine us. I think my sadness was coming from there first. <laughs> but then yeah. also the poor woman is dead. And now it means we have to come in together again. And Grace is lazy. She didn't want to be cooking and baking anything. I wasn't ready for the I wanted to go on a holiday. <laughs> yeah, think... Grace is an aunt. Yeah. <laughs> so as a writer, yeah. Yes. So as a writer, how was that moment for you? Yeah. And that yeah. was what was inconvenience, but yeah. I suppose we are here now. Yeah. 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 Well, outside in creating the, the season, it was like, okay, cool. We had a wedding. Weddings were joyful and fun. And yes, we're still going to do how yeah. to the funeral. And it's still a comedy, but someone is going to die. So we needed to hit that moment. And Dumi's journey this season was more about it's technically not her fault. I mean, you watched episode one. Yeah, I did. I did. I did. I, Oh, I was like, you have to get me out of this house. Yeah. You have to do all of the. So she actually did one good thing and then it backfires. And it for me, fire. yeah, that, that last scene for me, and I think Johnny Babuzano, who directed it, did a brilliant job of everyone just looking at me. And we have a beautiful soundtrack playing in the back there. That I think that is what life and family is. There's joyful moments, there's fun, and then there's real and heartwarming moments. Yeah. And that's why we want to take the audience through that journey with everything that we do. Yeah. And I'm so happy you're here because I wanted to ask you this. Uh, with a beauty for giving her father, do you feel like she needed some sort of belonging or healing uh, with uh, reconnecting with the dead? Or was it something that you guys just wanted to add in on the show? No, so when we did season one, <laughs> after Christmas, the wedding, and we had that scene, it resonated with that audience, yeah. hey? Like, yeah. it was crazy. Yeah, yeah. The, the, the response from the, from the audience from that little scene, like literally those mm -hmm. few minutes, Everyone was just like, damn, man. They understood it. They understood like, oh, that's my dad. Or that, why did she go do that? And I think people, we miss connections. Um, you can grow up with a mother that raised you and everything's perfect, but you're always going to wonder about your father. You're yeah. always going to wonder about abandonment. And you obviously know, I won't say it, that happens to them in their relationship. And that's, causes her to latch onto relationships that she shouldn't be latching onto. Yeah, yeah. And unfortunately, exactly. that's why she brings him in. And we saw Edmund in his wife, Peter. Yeah. <laughs> Call guy, guy. He's definitely going to come into the toilet on Sunday. Yeah. Hey, my daughter. Yeah. You know? yes. <laughs> All of us. Yeah. Exactly. So and I wanted, yeah. And I wanted to ask you, uh, Rami, as a mother, um, uh, do you feel like as much as you can raise a child alone, um, uh, do you feel like they somehow they will need to have that bond oh. with their father or they're no. going to look for their father? No. You don't. No. Because, <laughs> uh, you know. I don't. Because watching this show with Beauty, because her mom is like, a saint it was really great and they had a great relationship and now for her to look for her father it's like does she need that whatever that she needed or it's just no okay well with me as well because it's actually the same situation um yeah. my my kids don't have relationship with with their, with their fathers at all and there's been a little moment where someone reached out like yeah 
I would like to know my child and all of that. And then they then they realize the responsibility that comes with it. And then it backfires big time. And and although although I'm saying no, no, I'm saying no because of the experience already. Experience I mean, from, oh, okay. I stop them from reaching out, but I've seen it backfire in a way that it became their own decision that was not influenced by me, where they said, you know what, this is not going to help. It is not good for my sanity. And I don't think anybody is ready to forge that kind of a relationship yet. And and and, and they're fine. And they're fine. And there are some days I think about it because now I've got a grandchild. I'm like thinking, yeah. as I call that girl, girl, like, you know you have a granddaughter, <laughs> right? But then yeah. then I that it, that's nothing that my daughter wants to do. She doesn't want want him involved in any way, and she is fine. So I'm not going to interfere with that. But should she one day down the line want to reach out, I wouldn't stop. I wouldn't stop her to uh, stop her pursuing that. But tried it, didn't work. Backfired badly. Even made the relationship break worse. down worse. Yeah. Like it was just like she didn't have. And this is this is how to earn Christmas. This is why people relate. This yeah. is why you're asking a question like this because yeah. these are the things people are, are talking about, like reaching out to their dads that have been deadbeats. You're dealing with death. You're dealing yeah. with relationships. So this is exactly why I think, and I hope the audience will love season two. Um, and- I absolutely love it. It was amazing. And uh, there's um, even circulated made it on season two. Is there some sort of a uh, message or? something uh-huh. that you guys want to put in or oh, it was just something for fun how dare you think <laughs> that you have a show without the star of the show yeah yes. i mean second is a legend <laughs> second is the real star of the show i would like to tell the actors but he's the real star it of is the show. yeah absolutely <laughs> yeah i saw how they put our rooms yeah succulent room was like on the top top floor and we're just somewhere <laughs> there ground floor second floor succulent was there yeah. i just love how the audience has fallen in love with succulent like shadrick has fallen in love with succulent yeah. it's like yeah. so crazy that it's like oh yeah but where, where's succulent people are like oh he's in the train okay succulent you <laughs> and the craziest thing the craziest thing is that in season one we i don't think any of us anticipated the relationship that Shadrach would have with her yeah. and it turned out into a proper love relationship when he said no no kill all of them not this one <laughs> no <laughs> yeah. succulent will not be eaten i mean you, you know? saw in episode one he says it's succulent Shadrach jr <laughs> <laughs> uh, so uh, i really love the show and the casting is so perfect it's like it's like when you were writing you were like okay i'm getting rami <laughs> this is Yoda. this is it how important is that because it, it's just so perfect and everyone who's on season two now who's added on the, on season two they're so great how important it is for you to cast the right people for the show i think it makes the show you can write anything on a piece of paper and if you don't have the right person saying those words and also adding to those words i think we have an environment where we let people play yeah. and yeah. and you know how to earn christmas the funeral was nice because everyone has done the wedding so now with the funeral i'm like you know your characters now play and i think on grace this the season has a bit of a storyline that we can't reveal yet but fast yes. Things are going to be messy. <laughs> but also, one of the things that I appreciate as well is that, you know, what I did, the producers, when they thought about casting as well, they, they didn't limit themselves. Because sometimes someone, yeah. will, they will look at the budget first. They will look at the uh, different types of influence. But because they understood the assignment and the story that they wanted to tell, they started capitalizing because we've got... Most of the people that are leads, we are all lead actors in our own right. So imagine having 13 of them. Let me imagine tell you. having a bunch of 13 <laughs> lead actors who are prepared to they, they, they lead in their own way, but we are also support. Yeah. Do you understand? Yeah. And you need to have people understand the assignment that I am not, the story is not about me. My assignment is to support the story that is being told but you use the expertise of if you were the one being in the lead. So everyone came in, we, we owned it, we owned the story. 
and I think you can it, it reaches through. Yeah. And I've been working with all these people that all the time you like you're like oh my god I can't believe her I'm working with her and I'm working with her I'm working with him I'm working with him yeah. it is amazing and I'm I'm amazed and then they're also amazed that I'm there and we are all amazed that we are all there. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, that is just like magic, magic. And we magic. have like new names that are big names, and and I love that we come to play. Like you know that this Putla was in season. He did one scene. And yeah, one scene. And, and that then another. That was really good. Yeah. Only five minutes. Yeah. yeah, exactly. And to have him come back and want to play with us, it's it's for me, it's an honor. It's an honor that these actors are like, yeah, let's do, it. let's go. And I do respect them so much. And. I'm so proud of what we've been able to create, and and we wouldn't have been able to do it without these actors. Yeah. So I have one last question because my time is up. Uh, oh. I'm gonna ask you guys: Do you? Um, I really liked how you also added uh, the girl Lulu. How important do you guys feel like it is to add the young actors for the shows that are upcoming and trying to get into the industry? That's my last question. Because well, I think we've about, about this. Uh, the industry. <laughs> um, I think, you know, what makes a show like this great is it's a family show. Christmas is about spending time with family. So how can you have a family without no children? Um, yeah. So we saw there was babies now this season. So, yeah. you know, having, yeah, exactly. So it's, it's important for us to always keep things, mix it up if we do get a season three. I mean, I mean, we're putting we are getting season three. <laughs> You I know. The <laughs> I know. Um, <laughs> we obviously always want to grow and keep growing things. And I know, like, open up the industry is always like a huge, yeah. a yeah. huge sentiment that yeah. we are trying to find new faces, bring in the old faces. Like, it's about nostalgia, Christmas, right? That's yeah. what it is. That's why we have what I mean here, you know, sitting with us. And that's why we'll have like faces we haven't seen in a while. That's why we'll have like newcomers. So it is very important. Yeah. yeah, and also I opening, wish I would ask. Okay, let me tell you yeah. one, one, 30 seconds. Yeah, open, opening the in, opening up the industry is not about scraping everything off and bringing something new. Absolutely. There must yeah. be flow, which is why you have old, young, middle, you know. And I think that's why you can, you can see each and every age group is being catered for in the series, yeah. and that makes it work. So when it flows from old, and by the time the youngest comes in then you add another yeah but you can't spread everything say we all want only new faces new faces can never work alone there needs to be a string yeah. sound that ties it all together otherwise we wouldn't get us free i'm crossing my fingers but yeah <laughs> Thank you so much, guys. This was fun. Um, I can't wait for you guys to get more awards again because they were yeah. amazing. Oh. The audience is going to love it. And uh, I have to go. I love you guys. Bye. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> that is so cool, man. Yeah. But that's a hot.